G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes have a look it's the Titan. Now you're probably asking yourselves hey Ev you don't have the Titan what the hell's going on? Well actually this is what was going on this is what happened a little bit earlier so I took off in the Pisces thinking to myself, yeah, well, why don't we just go and have a little bit of a fly around fuck around, shall we? You know how this is going to end. So I thought, well, I haven't been down this way for a while, and whoa, shit. Oh, that looked like a cutty for a second. It probably was a cutty. Um, so yeah, thinking that I was going to end up God knows where, it's actually quite cool. Didn't actually think I could do that. So let's give it a bit of a twist around. And let's see, oh, this thing's fucking nimble. Got to get used to flying little ships again. So I'll line myself up. So the idea is to do kind of like a Star Wars trench thing. You ready, folks? Here we go. Down we go. And yeet. Oh, bounce. Oh, that's all right. Ah, oh, fuck. And there goes the dead body. Shit. Anyway, as I was um, respawning, I realized, shit. Um, I can just hire a Titan. So I thought for a bit of nostalgia, why the hell not? And um, yeah, it, the run's doing all right up until this point. Where apparently I ended up in a zone where I should not have been in the ship. So yeah, and it threw me quite literally on my ass. There you go. Serves me fucking right, doesn't it? So let's go and actually pay the little fine for the ship. Okay, I know where I am now. So there's always little fine. It's probably impounded. Let's go see what the little fine is. What is it? Uh, pay fine. What are we looking at? Uh, Five thousand AUEC. Okay, yeah. Fuck it. We'll do that. But hang on a second. I got a crime stat. Why do I have a crime stat? Let's have a look here. Yeah, log in as user. Come on, Ev. It's taking fucking forever to log in as user. Come on. Click, click, click. Yeah, about fucking time. Oh, 2,000 for a fine. So it's really 7,000 for that. Lovely. Bloody hell. Okay, fair enough. So anyway, folks, that's what was happening in the past, which led me to here. And I actually had to think about it. And I'm going, you know what? If I was a new player coming into this game and maybe got like a couple missions under my belt and got like 20 odd K or something like that, about 20, I think it's 27,000, something rather for this ship. Um, so I'm thinking, what could I do to make money in this ship? What's the safest thing I could do to make money in this ship? And obviously we could do a bit of cargoing because obviously in this ship you can actually do it. Cargoing, hauling, however you want to say it, you can definitely do it. But you're not going to be making multi-millions off this little ship. But anyway, this is the cargo area. That's it, folks. That was all of it. I think it can hold about 8 SCU. So let's go and have a look, shall we? We'll probably just grab some diamond or something along those lines. Whatever's here, really. But let's just say, if we're doing this kind of really, we want to go for diamond or laronite at this point in the game. Don't ask me what happens next week, next month, next year. Maybe next year, really. Let's be honest. It is CIG. But anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. So, Laronite's out. What a surprise. But Diamond is a lot. Shit, I really wish I had the bloody um, Hercules with me. I would have been laughing with that. Anyway, 8 SCU at 31.39k. Don't worry, folks. I'll go through numbers a little bit later towards the end of the video. So, all right, fair enough. We've got that. Let's get the hell out of here as well. Okay. The guy's talking to me. The vehicle terminal should handle that. What the hell? Are you, what's he fucking on about? Anyway, I got the arse end open, which is kind of dangerous, but we're doing this because we're playing this the first time as a new person playing and we don't know what to do. So obviously we can't go in past that. So we have to figure out a way to close the freaking door in the ship and if I remember correctly you kind of had to step onto the bloody thing didn't you yeah here we go so close the door run back make sure it doesn't smack you in the face and then you can actually climb up the side of the ship it's been a while since I've done this one folks ladder 
Okay, let's change the views. Let's have a look. Very nice. And down. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So let us, shall we take off first or shall we plot a course first? Let's do a bit of taking off, shall we? And then we'll just power out of here. Oh, I love the crackle on this ship. And she fucking moves too. I love it. Okay, so let us hit the good old Navi system. And we're going to go this time to somewhere a little bit different. And I want to go to New Babbage. Why? Because I actually want to see how good the rig or the new crap top is going to handle Microtech. It did okay at Hurston. Let's see Microtech. Do I have enough fuel to get there? Okay, it says it does. All right, let's see what happens, folks. So I'm going to switch screens and punch it. See you at Microtech. Here we go. Microtech it is. We've found our way here, folks. How's the fuel? Pretty much running on vapor at the moment, but that's okay. It's a rental. So we will just pick our little target. Really? Daytime? Are we going to land at daytime, are we? Ah, damn it, we're not. Ah, that's the part I really miss about the um, previous version. Even though it was, the markers were a pain in the ass, but at least you could tell if your position was going to be behind or in front, meaning that you could actually see, is it going to be a daytime landing or a nighttime landing, afternoon, evening, whatever the hell you want to go for. This little guess and see thing, uh, I don't like it. I mean, it doesn't do anything different, but it just, yeah, I don't like it. Oh, hang on. Am I talking shit now? What's happening? Okay, things are popping up. Is it like dusk or something? What's going on? Nope, nighttime. All right, fair enough. Ah, is this what it looks like at night? Cool, they've got a lot more lights now. And that actually helps a lot because now I can figure out where the bloody landing area is. Now listen to that crackle, folks. I'll shut up. <laughs> Fucking love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I think I'm out of crackle power here. Ah, it's lovely. I love that sound. Kind of sounds like someone's cooking popcorn, to be honest. Now I'm fucking hungry. Alright, fair enough. Ev, cut the crap. Come on, we have to find the landing place. So, go into the inside view there, mate. Gian, don't be a hero. Don't fucking crash either. Be a pointless video if that was the case. All right, cool. So let us go inside the cockpit. Can't have. There we go. And um, we need landing things. Uh, right between my legs. All right, don't start, folks. All right. Okay, I'm shocked. Because I've been at Microtech at some points for like 10, 15 minutes before something opens up. Um, okay, don't remember why it gave me that message, but anyway. Now this seems to be a very large hangar for this type of ship. Is this correct or have they changed stuff here as well and I have to land underneath it or some shit like that? Because this is a very big hangar and this is a very small ship in comparison. I know I'm repeating myself, but... I'm just saying it so I know I'm not stupid. No, there's no other little hangers. It is the big one. All right. Kind of overkill, but all right. So we're coming for a landing. Hey, not too fast there, Ev. So landing gear is coming down. And as you can see, I've had a lot of training at this. And I suck, but that's all right. We are coming down. Oh, is it going to be the middle? Hey, not too bad. All right, we're down. Cool. All right, let's... What? Impounding? No, 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 let's get the fuck out of here. 
No, fuck off. Fuck off ship storage. What the fuck just happened? That was the place I had to go, right? Yeah. Ah, fucking hell, Microtech. Now that it gets everything open, it doesn't... Oh, for fuck's sake, now what's going on? Nah, don't do that. Yeah? Then why are you telling me ship storage procedures? Alright, let's... Alright, folks, let's see what happens. Try number two. Yeah, you see, I knew it was going to fuck up. Alright. Oh, it's been a while since I piloted this ship inside the ship. Okay. So, I'm just... I'm staying in this mode, folks, because... I just realized they put the landing gear down. That's all right. You can get a few scratches on it. It's a rental. Okay. Okay, good. That's what we wanted to hear. So now we're, we're flying in on the cockpit view because if it came up with the other stupid message, at least I could get out very quickly again. So speaking of getting out, let's get out of here. But outside of that little stupidity, shit, I'm going to have to run that way. Oh no, okay, cool. So these guys are just sitting there on their smoko, not even looking to see what the fuck's going on. So here we go. Hangar 16, we're going to go straight to the terminal. I hope. Now, normally I'd cut all this shit out and just send you guys to the part where, like, we go up to the TDD terminal to do the, um, the I win type of, uh, moment. But, again, we're here to see what Microtech looks like on the crap top, the new crap top. So, let's have a look. Okay. I don't know what that flashing's for. So, let's have a look at the fleet manager. Uh, let's store that. Okay. All right, let's have a look. So people are walking. The game's not stuttering. Usually that part up there, it would stutter quite a lot. Here seems to be all right. Okay, here too. Now, I'm a bit wary here because so many times on Microtech at this point, I've fallen through fucking elevators. I don't like it. All right, but let's go to the Metro Loop. Am I going to fall through the elevator? I mean, I've stored the ship. It's okay if I do. I mean, I've already died today, so that ain't going to be a problem. Um, but still, it'd be just annoying. So I want to go to the comms. And let's have a look. Usually another good tale is if the um, the tram just appears. I'm calling it a tram. Maybe it's a shuttle. Or a pod. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Came in a bit off there. But that's alright. That could be the game. May not be me. Alright. Let's go to the front of this thing and see what we can see happen. Um, what do you reckon? Why is this thing fucking moving like that? Why is it bouncing? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not going to move. Oh, hang on. What the fuck was that? All right, we're not moving. Well, the character's moving, but I'm not. Okay, it went a bit slow there. What the fuck is it doing? Let's see if we can change the camera view. Oh, look at that. Oh no, we're missing parts of the track now. Uh, we're under the track. Oh shit. No, we're on the track. 
We're in the track, we're through the track, we're... <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck I'm not moving a bloody oh Jesus the track's going through us we're not even on the fucking track anymore where's it going it's going its own fucking way there Jesus bloody Christ please be the fucking comms okay get off get off Ev okay I think the graphics card worked I think the trams are a bit fucked all right, so let's see up here. Now, another place where I know it used to shit itself is going up these next steps because it was trying to load everything else upstairs. But so far, okay, no shitty frame rate. Well, have a look at that. Okay. Hmm. Used to be more people here. All right. What happened to the runners that used to run around? That just feels like it's just me. Okay, so off to the TDD I go. I think it's this way. So we don't need to go downstairs. Those butterflies that do absolutely nothing. They're there. And the TDD's here. Okay, so we're the torture's nearly over, folks. Don't worry. So off to the console we go. And we want the good old Titan. And that magical 8 SCU of Diamond Cargo, which I pressed the wrong fucking button. All right, there we go. 34K. Hmm. Okay, don't worry, folks. We'll do the maths afterwards. So, let's confirm it. Yay. Come on. Don't fuck around. Yay. ka -ching. So, I think we made a bit of a loss. So... Let's have a look while we're at the bar here, folks. We went off and we got this thing at about 27 something K. Now let's go through the mathematics. We bought diamond at 31,390 AUEC. We sold diamond at 34,410 AUEC. Ran the red 24,145. And need another eight runs just to break even, not including the fuel. There you go. So if we were doing this as a new player and we wanted to make our money back, we need about another nine or oh, nine runs in total, maybe 10, including fuel. There you go. Who said you never learned anything? See you in the next one.